For the 2022 and 2023 season, I decided to change up my base layers. Um, before I was just using some miscellaneous pieces, whether it'd be like just random store brand long johns or some older cap lean long underwear as well. Like I kind of mismatched my base layers last season. And I didn't know if that'd be a, a huge role in how warm I would be. So I was kind of skeptical to totally redoing my system. But nonetheless, I actually did totally revamp my base layering system. So what I did is I went with Patagonia Kaplan Air. Kaplan Air is probably the warmest um, base layer that you can get from Patagonia. Um, I think on even on the warmthness rating, they're I think they are the warmest one. And part of that is due to very smart construction and just due to the materials that are used. So right off the bat, Kaplan Air, these three pieces I have, this is the crew neck, this is, these are the bottoms, and then this is the hooded version. Um, I did do a fit for all three of these, or maybe two, I did a fit for two of them. I'll put a link or a little card up to that video so you can see if, if you want to know how they look when they're on. But all of these three pieces have the same materials, and the materials that are used within Kaplan Air is it's 51% merino, and then I think it's 49% polyester. So you're getting a really good blend. So anything merino is going to be really good because merino has it keeps its insulating value even when wet. So that's really good. You also have the added benefit of that merino is naturally odor resistant. So you know any of your base layers they don't start to stink up. I know with a lot of the other Kaplan base layers, whether it be Kaplan Thermal Weight or Kaplan Midweight. They're all like polyester and polyester tends to get like a stink to it. Um, there's actually an old Patagonia ad on that I saw probably a couple months ago and it was like skunk wear. Anyways, the whole, whole, the whole thing it just boils down to is that polyester eventually starts to stink and gets perma stink. Whereas all these, you can use them time after time or on a long trip and they won't stink. So Merino is really great. For that, it's also why I like their Kaplan Cool Merino shirts. Just the same thing. It's got merino, it's got polyester, and that blend of polyester is also nice in there because it keeps them so they don't absorb a lot of um, water. Because merino alone will absorb some water, but the thing is, is that like I said, merino will keep on insulating while it's wet. Whereas if you start blending in polyester into it, it creates a thing where you basically have this good balance between the absorption of the fabric. To where because like polyester doesn't absorb water so it's super nice for it's just a great blend overall um so yeah so you have the materials just super great another thing that you get is with a lot of the Kaplan air is you have if you can see this kind of weird texture within it it has a little bit weirder of texture because it's 3d knitted so the whole 3d knitting is really cool because it's a one it's a continuous stitch and basically what that means is yeah it's just it is a continuous st stitch there's no seams anywhere and if you think you see seams like right there I'll take this piece for an example you can kind of see that where you s think you'd see a seam that's not a seam it's just continuous stitching so it's really cool to have that because then you have no seams anywhere so if you're wearing a pack or if you're wearing other pieces of clothing you don't have these seams that get in the way or give like a little, or they don't rub, so it's really nice. Um, but doing that 3D knitting also kind of, it basically creates like a, like almost like a hollow core essentially. And what you're trying to do with insulation is you're trying to trap air. So doing this 3D stitching kind of goes around and creates this hollowness to it. That in turn does better insulating than just a piece of fabric or a piece of lofted fabric over on top. It does a really good job of insulating. And that's really apparent. Um, after using it for the whole season, they're awesome. I mean, I was able to go on way colder days this season than last season and just using these these pieces, using the bottoms and then using either of the two tops. Um, I kind of broke it down to I would use the crew neck for warmer days 
and then I'd use the hooded one for colder days. And yeah, it's really interesting using them because it feels so minimal because they're really lightweight, but just because of the blend and the construction, they are really warm for what they weigh. And they're, yeah, they're just, they're super awesome. Um, definitely, they're a great piece, especially for ice climbing because they do breathe well and they don't stink, but they're just another great piece for your layering system, you know? All I did on top of this, instead of wearing a full-on jacket or anything, I just put a vest on and it worked. But on the really cold days, I still use these as my main base layer, then I put on a layer above for my upper. But a lot of times I never put any base la or another layer on top of my legs. All I was running with was just these. And that was the only layer I had on my legs. And for most every part, other than some like random times when it was like super cold, they worked great. And it's just, these base layers are really one of the best base layers out there. They are a little bit more spendy. Like you could, like Kaplan Thermaway and Kaplan Midway are definitely a lot, um, they're a lot cheaper. But you do have to remember at the end of the day is that you're also, you're not, you're not just paying for the product and everything you get with it. Like with all Patagonia stuff, you have an ironclad guarantee. So if anything happens to it, you know, you're good that way. You, you can get either a replacement or they'll fix it for you. So that's super nice. But you're also paying for like the engineering that went into building this. And these pieces are very complicated, but they work really well. So that price is kind of worth it in some manners that you do get one of the warmest pieces of for base layers out there. So in that way, I do think it is kind of worth it. Um, so kind of moving away from the two tops, the two tops work great. The sleeve length is good. Um, my only kind of gripes with the tops is that the, it does kind of catch on Velcro at the cuffs of the sleeve. That's kind of annoying when you're wearing gloves because you generally always wear gloves to ice climb. So that's just kind of annoying. I found that there's been a couple times where it's just like hooked to the Velcro right here and I'm like pulling up and I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I'm just pulling on that. So that's kind of a nitpick um, just because I think the, the strands are a little bit looser. The whole thing is kind of a loose weave anyway, so it doesn't surprise me. And probably my biggest gripe with the whole Kaplan Air is that for the bottoms, there is no fly at all. So that's kind of a pain. And I'm not just talking about like a regular zip fly. Like I don't expect that, but like even just one of those like cuts of fabrics where you can pull out, that doesn't have that. And that's kind of a pain, especially when you need to go to the bathroom anywhere before a climb or after a climb, you got all your stuff on. It's kind of a pain um, with a lot of the Patagonia stuff. They, they keep in the dual aspect, the zipper, goes kind of to the side so now you're dealing with a whole big ordeal because now these don't have a zip they don't have a fly at all and some of their yeah some of their underwear doesn't have a fly so just be aware of when you get these there's no there's no fly and you will maybe run into some issues it's not it's not a huge issue for me but there's definitely been times when I've been like, you've got to be kidding me because I always forget that it doesn't have a fly and it's one of like, the, like it's a small inconvenience, but at the same time, it's kind of a big inconvenience. So just be aware of that. But other than that little nitpick, they're really great. They are, I think, really worth it for the price. And I've been super satisfied with their performance this whole season. And I'm actually really happy to now have them in general because Anytime I go ice climbing, I'm sure to be wearing these as my base layers going forward. So yeah, so that's been a kind of season review of the Patagonia Kaplan Air. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.